Member of Parliament for the Town of St. George, Honorable Peter David, says discussion is taking place to arrive at the best solution for business owners in close proximity of the St. John's River to continue plying their trade while remedial work is undertaken. The dialogue with contractors and engineers will look at the possibility of allowing the business owners to remain on site or be temporarily displaced with the understanding that they will return once the project is completed. There are persons on the, on the, on the river bank who are currently uh, conducting their business, legitimate business, businesses that we hope can continue. Uh, and, and I'm having discussions with the contractors, with the engineers, as to how we can keep them there while the construction is going on, but if not, uh, how we can ensure that the work is done in a way that they can return to their business. Because these are legitimate businessmen. You know, some people like to call them squatters, etc., etc. but they are legitimate young people trying to make a living the legal way. And, and therefore, I am going to work as hard as I can with the contractors, with the engineers, with the workers in the area to ensure that we keep as much as possible uh, them in place while the work is going on, but if some uh, uh, if they have to move, that it is not a permanent shutdown of their business, and we find a way to to ensure that they can at least make a living uh, while they are dislocated uh, temporarily. Another advantage for the people of River Road and surrounding areas is the temporary jobs that the project is generating for tradesmen in the area. Certainly, the fact that the project is going. The fact that the river mitigation is taking place, the fact that jobs are, are happening in the River Road area must make all of us very happy to see that there is the delivery of a, 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 a promise in the area. The project is expected to be completed in eight months.